Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So in today's video, we are going to be going through my July empties. So if you wanna see what I used up last month, then just keep watching. So I've got them all in, of course, my little canvas right here. And there's a lot in there, so let's get started. So first thing we're gonna start off with is of course the Bath & Body Works products. So the first things in here are two little pocket bags. I have one in Sweet as Strawberries and one in Merry and Bright, which is Sparkling Icicles. They were both really good. I mean, this one had glitter in it, so I don't like that, but glad to have finished them. And then I did also finish this Island Papaya Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. I do prefer the like gel soaps over the foam ones just because I've had allergic reactions to the foam ones before, but this one smelled really, really good. It was good for summer. The next thing I have is the Paris Amour Body Lotion. So it took me about three months. Here is my progress to finish this one up. It was in my project pan. Check that out if you want to see more info about this. But yeah, basically I finished it up. It was very old from 2016, so it needed to be used up. The formula was kind of going bad, but it was really good. The next thing I have is the Mary Cherry Cheer Shower Gel. This was from last Christmas. It took me about um, one, two, three months to finish this as well. It was in my project. And yeah, I mean, I do like this scent. It's kind of like heavier like a, a darker cherry and um yeah i enjoyed it and i probably won't get it again this year but i probably might use it in the future i'm just kind of like burnt out on it right now so and then i have the georgia peach ultra shade body cream so i did cut this open if you guys don't know um definitely cut open your body cream so you can get that last bit out of here because there was like four more uses out of this once i cut it open um but yeah, it smelled really good, it smelled like peaches, and I really liked it for summertime. The next thing I finished is the Dr. Teal's Body Lotion in Lavender. This was like in a little set that I got for Christmas. It was nice and calming, and I used it at work. It lasted me about a month as a hand lotion, so yeah, pretty good. And then I have this like random little wallflower. I don't really get wallflowers anymore, um, but I say that and I actually just bought one, so you know, whatever. But I used this one up, it was a mango Mai Tai. I don't have the tag on it, but yeah, it smelled nice and fruity. I put it in the hallway, um, so it was nice to smell whenever I walked by it. And then the last thing from Bath & Body Works that I have is the pistachio ice cream candle. And the packaging on this was absolutely gorgeous. It was also my project. Um, I already cleaned it out so that I can recycle it, but I didn't like the smell of it at first, but definitely after burning it so many times, I like it now. <laughs> so yeah, it was just like a nice fruity scent for, not fruity, like sweet. I don't know how to describe it. It is a little fruity though, um, but it was like a nice sweet summer scent. So I really enjoyed that. The next couple of things that I have are actually skincare. So first I have the Mary Kay Botanical Effects system number one cleanser so they have i think one two and three for dry uh what's it called combo and oily skin so i have the one for dry skin i use the cleanser um i think i got a really long use out of this i started this probably at the end of winter um and i think it's really gentle so i definitely liked it and then i have the botanical effects number two freshen um it's basically a toner you can like hardly see the packaging because it's white, but yeah, I used it as toner. It was really good to get like the oils off my face, so I loved those two. And then I had this little like travel size sample of the Garnier Micellar Water, and I really enjoyed this. I used this with a reusable cotton round, so I have ones that I bought off of Amazon, and they're actually like fabric, so you can wash them. So I did notice that I had to put a lot more of this instead of like if I had a cotton round, like an actual one. Um, but it definitely still removed my makeup the same. So it was pretty good, but I probably will not purchase this because Garnier is not cru cruelty free. So the next thing I have is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. So this was actually like a little sample. It came with a Christmas set two years ago. So I definitely needed to finish this because it was going to go bad pretty soon. But it was like a um, exfoliation, basically, I think, yeah. And it smelled like pumpkins, so that was 
weird, but it was kind of good at the same time. I don't know. I liked it, but it, I didn't really notice much of a difference in my skin. And then I actually decluttered this. It's the black mask. It's one of those peel off masks. I'm not about that. Um, I've heard how bad it is for your skin. So I'm just going to declutter this. It was just a little sample. I think I got it in an Ipsy box or Ipsy bag. So I'm just going to declutter this. And then I have a few hair items. So I have the, well, actually it's just the set. It's the Nioxin Scalp Recovery Conditioner and Shampoo, Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's basically for if you have dry flaky scalp and I have, I don't know what I have, but I definitely have a dry flaky scalp. It's not really flaky, but it kind of is, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But this did nothing for me. I, I'm kind of disappointed because it has done things for me in the past. So it's pretty sad that it didn't work for me now, but, um, yeah, finish it off, won't be repurchasing again. So yeah, the next couple of things are very random. So I have this Gillette Sensitive Skin Shave Gel. I just, I always use these. So yeah, that was, it was good. Actually, I did like the aloe part of it. So I'm not picky about that stuff though. And then I finished off an Equate Nail Polish Remover. So that is everything. And it was a pretty good amount of stuff. I'm really impressed with all the Bath & Body Works that I finished this month. So let me know if you finished anything awesome this month or if you're looking forward to finishing something next month. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.